Hey everyone, welcome back to Cartel Files. My name is Adrian and my job is to simplify laser design for you so you can start building your next project quicker. So today I just wanted to show um, a few little tips and tricks. I found this really cool um, photo online of this witch on a broomstick and what I really want is to remove all the background and just have a silhouette of um, the witch plus the broomstick. So we're going to dive in and have a look at how we do that. But before we do that, please give this video a big thumbs up and press subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel and keep um, producing new and free content for you every week. So um, I want to introduce you to a new tool. You probably know it, um, but if you don't, there's this website called PhotoP. And what it is, is it's basically a clone of Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, um, but it's online and it's completely free. Um, so what I want to do first is basically what I'm trying to do is I'm removing all this background and then I want to fill in the character or the, you know, the design with all black to make it a silhouette. So the first thing I do, I find my image, I press right hand click it and I press copy image. Then I head over to photop.com. You can see the website here spelt photopea.com and hit on new project. Now that I'm in the new project window, I'll just give it a name. I'll call it witch and set the width and the height to the size of the image that I'm copying. So you can see here um, in the top right hand corner, it tells you that this image is 800 by 800 pixels. So I'll just make sure that that matches here. Um, on my DPI, I usually set it to at least 300. Uh, 300 is fine for what we're going to do. Um, but obviously, if you intend to engrave this image uh, without vectorizing it, then the higher that um, DPI is, the, the higher the quality of the image is in the end. And then lastly, um, we, we can play around with this setting. In most cases, I'm going to set it to transparent. Uh, but in this case, I'll set it to black and I'll show you why in just a moment and then hit create and that creates a blank um, document. I'm going to now just make myself a bit smaller to get out of the way. So now with this blank document, I want to go up to edit and then press paste and that pastes in my, uh, my witch image on a new layer. You can see it here. So we have a background, which is black and a new layer, which is the image that we just pasted. Okay. So now I'm going to show you why I chose photo P to start working with this um, image. The reason is this is a raster image, which means it's pixel based. Um, and what we want to do ultimately is change it into a vectorized image. Uh, so that means we can blow it up to any size we want and it'll still remain nice and smooth and not get pixelated. Okay, but because it's a raster image, we need to work with a different um, software package. Uh, and in this case, we're going to use PhotoP. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have layer one selected. And I want to go over to the left hand side here and you see this image or this option here, magic wand. I want to click that. And then what I can do is click on the background of the image. So this blue color. Okay. And with that selected, press the delete button. Okay. Same with the bottom portion. The reason why it did that in, in sort of two um, spots is because uh, it wasn't exactly the same color. There's a tolerance option here. You can see here, if we increase or decrease these tolerance, um, it'll be less sensitive to the, uh, the change of the color. So let's just play around with that and I'll show you how that works. So if we go to a higher tolerance number, maybe something like 60 and we select that again, you can, you can see now that um, everything is selected, but we have a bit of spillover on this hat. It's too close to that color. Okay. So what I'll do is maybe drop that down to, let's say about 20. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, that's made it a little bit further down. Maybe we can go to 25. Oops, 25. Enter. 
And yes, now that's selected all of those, um, all of those colors and we can hit delete. Perfect. So now we just basically do the same for the moon behind that character. Click on that top portion and delete all of those parts that we don't want. Making sure to grab everything even between the feet and between um, the hands here and also in her hair. So we can click on this and delete all of that. Um, we can leave that little piece, delete this, delete this and oops delete these little sections here and there we go so now we have a a pretty clean image okay but you can see that there's still a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of and the way we do that is again make sure that we're still on layer one and we go over to the eraser tool over here the shortcut for that is E, Eraser Tool. Alright, and if you right hand click on the image, you can set a size for your eraser. I usually set it quite large so I can delete, you know, a, a good majority of stuff all in one click. Okay, and we can just clean all this up, delete everything that we don't need. Alright, that is looking okay for now. Now you can see that there's this sort of um, weird outline of where the moon um, was. The quickest way is to just use that eraser tool, come in here and grab all of that. Um, I want to move this, this section here, this part of the um, broomstick, or oh, sorry, the, the the brush for the end of the broomstick, I want to move it to match on top of this um, end of the broomstick. So I'll just delete everything that I don't need here and we'll do that in one second. So that's all looking pretty good. Now to zoom in, um, you just hold down the Alt button on your keyboard and you can move around by pressing the middle button um, on your mouse, the scroll button, hold that in and that will allow you to pan around like this. All right, this is looking pretty good. Obviously you can spend more time and really make sure you get in all those nooks and crannies and delete everything that we don't need. But I'll try and do this quickly for you guys. And I think that looks all right to me. That looks good. Okay, so now that we've got this um, this image, what I would do is probably delete the background layer. And now I have a, an image that I can laser engrave if I want to. Um, but before I do that, as I said, I want to move that um, the end or the brush part of the broomstick to match the end of the broomstick. So I'll come over to here and I'll choose the rectangle select tool shortcut is M on your keyboard and I'll build a box just like this. I'll cut it. So control X and then control V. And when you do that, you can see that it moves it onto a, a separate layer. Um, and then that allows me to then move that. So it lines up with the end of the broom. Perfect. So as I said, we can now save this. So you can go up to file, and export as a PNG. If you export as a PNG, this transparent background um, stays um, transparent and you can then just engrave this file. Um, alternatively, and actually something that I will do is if you select both of these layers by holding shift and selecting both of them, you can right hand click and then come down to merge layers here. If you click on that, it'll then merge it into one layer and that'll just make it a little bit nicer when you export it as a PNG. When you export it, give it a name, uh, we'll leave it as PNG file and the quality at 100%. Hit save and the um, it'll, it'll then download that file. But we wanna go one more step further and what we wanna do is just turn this into a silhouette. So remove all the color and um, 
just make it all black. So the way we do that is we head over here again and we choose the magic wand tool. So the W is the shortcut and we select on the background. Okay, so now that's going to select everything. Um, oh, sorry, it's going to select all of the background, but not our character. And I'll show you how to fix that in a second. We also want to select um, the inside portions here. So you can see this part of um, between her arm and her back is not being selected at the moment. If you hold down shift and click in that area, it'll then select that. You can select here, here, here and between the legs. And now we have um, everything except the character selected. And now we want to invert that. And the reason why we want to do that is because we don't want to, um, when, when we use the brush tool, we don't want to go outside of the lines. Okay. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So now we go up to the select option up here. Okay. And then we come down to inverse. You see that? Control Shift I is the shortcut. And now what that does is it inverts your selection. So it disregards the background and only selects the character. All right, then our last step is if we come over here, you can see this option, the brush tool. Okay, select that. And we make sure that our color palette down here in the bottom left is black. If it's not, you can click on it and then you can drag the color, the color selector all the way into the bottom left hand corner. Make sure your R, G and B values are zero. Hit OK. And now with my brush tool, what I want to do is just go over the, um, the character just like this. You can make a bigger um, brush so you don't, so it doesn't take so long, but I want to basically highlight uh, sorry, I want to fill in all of the character in that black um, outline. Good. So now that's my silhouette done. And then I can save that again as a PNG. We call it whatever. And away we go. So now um, we have a PNG file, which is still a raster file. The next step is we want to vectorize this. So then we can use it in any of our uh, future designs and we can scale it to any size we want um, without it being pixelated. So let's head over to Corel Draw. Okay. And if we import that image, you can see right now, oops, if I blow this up, let's zoom out a lot and really make this image large. Again, we made this at 300 DPI, so it does scale quite, quite well. But you can see now that I've made the image much larger, if I zoom in, you can see it's really quite jaggedy, that edge. And that won't look good if we were to um, laser engrave it. So let's go back to the original size. Okay. And what we want to do is come up to this option here, trace bitmap. Go to outline trace and then down to detailed logo. Okay. Click that and a window should pop up and it should do a pretty good job just with the default settings. Um, and you can see now the jaggedness in the top image. Let's just zoom in. The jaggedness of that top image is really um, re removed altogether in the, in the vectorized version at the bottom. All right, so let's just make sure that we're happy with the image. Um, I don't see any issues with that. Let's hit OK. And now I have a perfect vectorized image. Let's zoom back out again and blow it up to a really large size. And when I zoom in, it's now nice and smooth. So that's a perfect image for laser engraving. Uh, you're not going to you know, lose any detail or have that jagged edge effect. Um, and now we can go ahead and create a design with this um, character and we can then uh, laser engrave it on, on whatever we want. So hopefully that taught you a few cool little tricks and helps you design some awesome designs uh, for Halloween. 
Uh, if you really like this video, I would love it if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps us grow the channel. And as I said, keeps giving us the opportunity to create free content for you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.